Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can scale your animations. This is mostly for those of you using skinned meshes, a, the avatar, the uh, studio beta for skin meshes. So you're going to select your rig. I'm just going to show off the problem here first that usually comes up. So as you can see, this is about the size it was when I imported this mat, this rig. You can see, moves fine, stretches fine, everything works fine. But when I scale it down to a reasonable size for a Roblox NPC, we just scale her down, say about this size, this is what happens. As you can see, the translations of the mesh, do, the translations for the animation do not match up with the size of the bones or the mesh. So we're going to fix that problem. So you're going to want to get a plugin called Animation Resizer, which I will link in the description and the dev form post. This is not made by me. I'm not taking credit for it, but it is a very helpful tool that works with bone animations. So you're going to want to take that, and then you're going to want to select your animation, the raw keyframe sequence, and you're going to want to say, like, for a normal Roblox character, you'd want to put it at about 0.05. And then hit apply scale. And then it'll create a new keyframe sequence instance. And what you basically what it's done is it's scaled the translations down based on what you gave it here. So you load in your new animation that you've scaled, and now you can see how it's working perfectly fine despite the smaller size As you can see everything is pivoting and deforming properly so I hope this helped any of you who because I've seen countless posts on the skinned meshes beta article of people who are saying oh my mesh is stretched and squashed when I scaled it down to Roblox size well, now here's your here's your answer. So, yeah, so here's your answer, guys, and I hope this helps, especially when this comes out and since they don't plan to support animation scaling anytime soon as a built-in feature, aka automatic scaling based on bone and mesh size of translations and animations, definitely recommend getting this plugin and giving it a shot. Again, Average size for a Roblox NPC is about 0 0.05, so keep that in mind. Thanks for um, watching my little tutorial.